Slash ask Reddit. Serious, what was something you saw you were definitely not supposed to see? Serious replies only. <laughs> Borrowed my dad's camera. Found out he was gay. I love the simplicity of this comment. I do not possess the necessary linguistic capabilities to properly elucidate the gravity of the experience. <laughs> the code to open all the doors in my primary school at the time. A lot of power to open any locked door for an 8 year old. I did theater tech in middle school, so they gave me a key to the theater so I could work on stuff when the building was closed. Only, it turned out that the key they gave me was a master, it opened any door in any building on campus built in the last 15ish years. I told the assistant headmaster pretty much as soon as I figured this out, and he was cool with it since I was basically a responsible kid. But then. This one day, one of the faculty members locked himself out of his apartment and I let him back in. His wife was not pleased. And that's the story of how I lost my ability to work on theater tech stuff whenever I wanted. <laughs> David Carperfield show. I was at an angle that allowed me to see the volunteers running out from the stage during a disappearing act. <laughs> my like third job I had, at 17, was at a pizza place. I had two managers, one male one female, and they were both married to other people. Well, I went to hand in my drawer at the end of one shift and walked into the office and there they were just making out with some heavy petting. Their spouses found out. They left their families, and then those two managers got married to each other. As far as I know, they are still together. Back when I was a teenager, we hosted a New Zealander at our house for a couple weeks. Guy gets to our place after the flight. And about 10 minutes later I'm walking around my house to see where he's at. The door to his room is partially open, and the dude is laying face down on the bed and humping the ever-loving heck out of a pillow. I backed away slowly like Homer when he saw Rapu cheating on his wife. I felt bad for the pillow. Dude robbed a gas station. I was riding my bike in the back saw him take off his mask and get in a car. We made eye contact. I turned my head and acted like I didn't see anything. When I was in my late teens I was sitting with a friend in his car at a set of traffic lights about 3am on a quiet street in the city. At the next set of lights ahead, which was maybe 30 meters away, I saw a guy walk up to the car waiting for the lights to change. He extended his arm and fired a shot almost point blank range at the passenger window, before quickly walking off. We sat there in shock for a minute thinking did we just hecking see what we thought we saw while the car sat there through two more light changes, before slowly rolling away. No other cars were on the street at the time. The next day I saw on the news some dude from a gang called the Assyrian Kings was shot in the head in a car and died right around where we were the night before. We never said crap about it to anyone as we decided we didn't want to get involved, being paranoid teenagers. <laughs> When I was a young teen I was once leaving my house to go do something in the neighborhood. As soon as I got out of the door I heard my parents at the garage. My mother seemed to be in her car, and my father, was sitting down behind her car, and pleading with her not to leave. My parents were divorcing, and I saw a few scenes that I wish I never had. Not really horrific, but seeing your parents in emotional pain can be rough. That's rough that reminds me of me walking out into the hallway and seeing my dad hit my mom for the first time when I was like 10. I couldn't sleep and I've always been a mama's boy and heard her crying. She was on the floor and my dad had a most evil glare in his eye. I just ran back to my room scared, and cried for my mom. The salaries of everyone working at the company I was working at it was a smaller, startup digital ad agency with about 60 employees total and someone from HR was making copies of a document that listed everyone's salary, and left the original on the glass of the copier. I found it, and turned it back in, but not before I went through that list to see what everyone else made, and discovered that a couple new hires working the same position as me were making more than me. So after turning it in, I met with my manager and used my newfound knowledge to my advantage to successfully negotiate for a raise along with a tacit promise that I wouldn't divulge what I knew to anyone else in the company. And spoke in extortion. Nice. The owner of the club where my sister worked took an armload of shotguns out of his truck. 
It was about 3 a.m. and I was parked behind the bar waiting for her. The reason I know he didn't mean anyone to see is because he covered them with a tarp and he gave a good long stare around when he got out. Shady freak. He was up to every kind of no good. I literally scrunched down in my seat. Years ago a colleague had an old smartphone that he brought in to give to another co-worker as theirs broke. The phone was sitting on the new owner's desk but she hadn't yet tried it out, as it was still charging after months of not being used. We were talking about how cool it was with the co-worker. Smartphones were not widespread yet, and I picked it up to see how it felt in my hand. I pressed a button and the first thing that I saw was a Google search for lump on anus. I quickly put the phone back down. This must have been the last thing he searched for when he last used it a long time ago, and forgot about it. I most definitely was not supposed to see my sister's abortion paperwork, 20 years after, in a box in her old closet at the family home. Her business, I'll never ask her about it. Found out a relative who everyone believes to be filthy rich and always throws extravagant parties, put his kids in expensive private schools, his wife shopping and eating fine dining, is broke and close to declaring bankruptcy. He's in deep debt and that he hasn't paid his bills in months and from what I could see, he owes a loan sharp too. Now, every time I see him post an invite to my mom, I cringe at the thought of him owing more money. My mom knows, but I never told her, she just knows. A woman using a sink as a bidet. A guy taking a crap under a bridge. What really freaked me out is that he probably walked around the rest of the day smelling vaguely of crap. I still think about it sometimes. As a kid I saw the scene from Poltergeist where the clown pulls the kid under the bed. My entire bedroom was filled with clown pictures and toys. I was upset. On my way to work in the morning on day and I'm on a train leaning up against a glass partition between two seats. The lady on the other side was doing the same and as her mobile kept pinging with incoming messages, my attention was drawn to it and because of the angle I could see the text exchange. To summarize, she offered services of the scatological nature, and the person on the other end was complimenting her on how her crap didn't stink when she curled one out on his chest. I definitely should not have seen that. I tend to have a way of finding things out that I'm not supposed to do to my inquisitive nature, but one that comes to mind was when I left my last job. My general manager wasn't exactly a warm woolly person and was not pleased that I was leaving. I had to get something out of the manager's office and saw my name in an email on the desk. She had told the other two managers to wish me the best of luck in my future career and that I would be missed. I was shocked because she actually took the time to send that out to them. Never heard that from any of them, but seeing it showed that she actually cared. Many movies after not paying for tickets. I once arrived early to pick up a girl for a first date. She was renting a small garden apartment behind a bigger house. It was just after dusk and I walked around the corner. The sliding door was standing open and she was inside walking around, brushing her hair, wearing only her underwear. She did not see me, so I just walked back around that corner and waited another 10 minutes. When I walked around again she had a dress on. I never told her. My wife and I vacationed to London a couple years ago. After dinner, we decided to go try out some local pubs because, yeah no, London. We didn't want to go to the tourist trap places so we followed around some locals. It was about 11pm when we got to the last pub. Was a nice looking place with a younger crowd. I really had to pee, but I couldn't find a restroom anywhere. I walked up to the guy working the front door and asked him where the restroom was. He looked at me kinda funny and said, upstairs first door on your left, I thanked him and scurried back into the bar. The staircase was in the back left corner, blocked by a table. I found it odd. I had to ask the group sitting at the table to move to let me slide by. They thought it was strange too, by the looks on their faces. You could tell that these stairs weren't meant to be used, but I had been drinking and my bladder was about to bust. As I reach the next floor there's a long hallway with about 5 doors. The bouncer had told me it was the first door on the left, so, I tried it. Nope, it was a dark room with empty kegs. Pretty normal, maybe he meant the right door. Nope, dark room with extra supplies. I started to wonder if I was too drunk to follow directions, 
but then I noticed that I could see light under the door at the end of the hallway. That must be the bathroom, or so I thought. I open up the door to find a group of people in very sharp business attire seated around an oval table. They were clearly having a beating of some sort, with their laptops out. They were incredibly surprised to see me. They all froze in place and we all looked at each other for a good 15 to 30 seconds. Finally, one of the guys says, what the hell are you doing? Mate I replied, I'm just looking for the bathroom. The door guy told me it was up here. They all looked a little confused. But the guy responded, we don't have a restroom in this building, now please leave, I apologized and closed the door, then headed back down the staircase confused as hell. The good news was that my urge to pee went away. I slid past the group at the table and returned to my wife, who had ordered some fish and chips, and told her all about what happened. We both agreed it was strange, but ordered another round and thought nothing of it. About 5 minutes later, I noticed the guy in the very nice looking suit come down the same stairs. He saw me, then went to the security guy at the front and said something to him, then pointed at me. I almost crapped myself. The bouncer walks up to me and says, you guys have to leave, I told him that I had not paid my tab yet, and he said not to worry about, just go ahead and leave. I obliged. My wife and I stand outside of the bar while we wait for our Uber to take us back to our hotel. The bouncer is sitting there just staring at us. It was a very awkward 5 minute wait. When our Uber gets there, the bouncer says in a very Jamaican accent, you all have a very good night, followed by a very loud laugh. To this day, one of the weirdest events of my life. Why were they having a business meeting at 11pm, in a pub, on a Saturday night? Why did the bouncer tell me to go upstairs when he knew there was no bathroom? Why did they kick us out afterwards? Why did the bouncer creepily laugh at us? We have no idea what happened, but we love to tell this story and see what everyone's theories are. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more added videos like this. Don't forget to smash that like button and Stay crispy guys.